Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insaney, and I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show, I react to comedy music from a comedy musician's perspective. Sometimes that means pointing out jokes, talking about the composition of the music video and how it works with the song, and sometimes it means just sitting and laughing my face off. It's a crapshoot what you're going to get, but hopefully it's a good time. This week... Uh, thanks to a poll on Patreon, we are now reacting to Slide Into the Void, the control song by the Stupendium featuring Kami Cat. Uh, this one won the poll this past week. Uh, if you are interested in voting in the polls to see what songs I'll be reacting to next, you can join the patrons over at patreon.com slash insaneian. Uh, also, you know, just leaving comments down in the comment section helps, uh, but uh, I do have a poll that goes up every so often to help me decide which one to go with next. Uh, and that's what the patrons did this week. Had a whole influx of patrons, so thank you all for joining me. Um, uh, many of them, I assume, wanted to see Stupendium's uh, reaction, the reaction to Stupendium's newest song, in which I got called out on last week. I uh, wanted to see that early, so thank you all for that, and thank you for joining us. And uh, hopefully we've got more things here that you like. And uh, if you are part of the Patreon and would like to join, that's the website. But also, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, all that good stuff helps us out too. Helps feed the algorithm and get eyeballs on these videos so, you know, more people see them. That's what I meant by more eyeballs. Anyway, diving into this song, not exactly sure how comedy this song is. I'll be perfectly honest. I know that a couple songs by the Stupendium are straight up not comedy. Uh, their Frostpunk song is not a comedy song. Their uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 song is not a comedy song. Uh, they have told me as much and has kind of basically said, you know, these songs aren't comedy at all, so I have not put them on the polls. This one I hadn't heard about. I do get a lot of requests for this one. Um, so it's about damn time that I got to this, uh, but it is I, it, Control's not a comedic game. It is a weird game. Um, Control is it came out a couple of years ago. It's made by the same company, uh, Remedy, that made the Max Payne games and uh, Quantum Theory. I think is the name of the game that was a, a launch title for Xbox One. And, of course, Alan Wake. There's actually DLC for Control that connects directly to Alan Wake. I've played a little bit of Control. I played, like, a couple hours uh, of the opening of the game, so I kind of know the plot and everything. I haven't finished it. And then I got a PS5 and downloaded the, the Ultimate version, even though I bought the DLC for the original version. Sure, why not? Uh, and I just haven't had a chance to, to sit down and play it again. But, uh, anyway... That's a hell of a long intro. Let's just dive in. God, I need a haircut. All right, here we go. No words, just spooky logo. All right, cool. You hear our words, but you forget. Push your fingers through the surface to the wet. We wait in the stains. We build you till nothing remains. In the name of the sound of the name. Yeah, this is going to be hilarious, I can tell. Cool. Repeat the word, repeat the word, repeat the word. A cracks in the truth will emerge. A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. You are home to remind us happy. To the edge of understanding the border of the known, the breaking point of reason, where logic is dethroned. Your sense is defenseless, and festers on the bone. You'll find entropy as offensive as rendered in the sun as you roam through the oldest house. Home to all that you were told about. For those of you who don't know, the oldest house is the name of the government building that hosts the or organization of control. I, I don't actually name remember the name of the organization, but the whole game takes place in the oldest house. It's called the oldest house because it's a it's a center for paranormal and supernatural things, and uh, you are the sister of somebody who worked there who is missing. I think I, I seem to remember. And you go in uh, to find them, uh, and you end up, through circumstances that I won't spoil, as the director of the agency. <laughs> and that's neat. Uh, Aaron is the name of the character. Uh, 
they showed her in the opening clips there. Um, decidedly, probably not comedic. This is... That's fine. This happens occasionally. If I know ahead of time that it's not going to be a comedic song, I probably won't react to it here. But going into it thinking it might be and ending up not being, I can't help that. It's just it's just the way it is. I prefer to react to comedy songs because that's where my areas of expertise come in. But I do play games, and I know stuff about games somewhat, and it's also song composition, so I, st I at least still have something to say about this. But it'll be less than I usually have to say because I like deconstructing jokes and stuff like that. Yeah, it's a thing. Trapped within a labyrinth that goes without saying that we're praying that they don't get out. The prison for the ism so begins with a schism have reflected architecture, dark and ending prison. That was a lot of ism rhymes in there, which, you know, I can't think of that many words that ends with ins ism. But, but Stoops did. That was great. I'm going back. Within a labyrinth that goes without saying that we're praying that they don't get out. The reason for the ism so begins with a schism, half reflected architecture, dark and ending prison. Part objective, part conjecture, partly with tradition where the paperwork is worshipped and the ritual is written. When the black rock cracks and the fire break ends, the director is left as the line of defense. Also, very monotone voice Stoops is using in this one. It's just all kind of delivered at the same same vocal temper and uh that's really interesting uh, it also kind of just kind of gives to the kind of the weight of a lot of the stuff that he's that they're saying in the song uh, it's just methodical in its presentation i guess uh kind of like you know it's it's very strict and bureaucratic i i suppose and that's they like playing bureaucrats anyway obviously kind of the evil versions of those and this game is just kind of tinged with evil as it is just around every corner of it. You know, the supernatural evil and just supernaturally unknown. And just, it's it's a weird game, is what I'm saying. From a collection of weird games made by the same company. Yay. Whatever. Part objective, part conjecture, part with tradition, where the paperwork is worshipped and the ritual is written. Also, uh, take a upside down left turn at the MC Escher stairs. Little ninja sex party reference for you. When the black rock cracks and the fire break ends, the director is left as the line of defense. The trenches have fallen to forces unknown. Perhaps you should answer the phone. A lot of phones in the game that ring and have very weird messages. There's a whole series of videos of puppets and just. The game's weird, man. But it's good. Like that, not just you yourself sliding into the void, but load a slide into the void. Load a slide into the projector, into the empty slot in the projector. The empty slot being a void because it's empty. You're putting a slide in the projector because projectors run videos on slides or images on slot, usually images on slides. Uh, and a lot of the things that you're seeing in the game that's kind of giving you the backstory of the game is through the projectors that you find in different rooms. That's an amazing flip. Bravo. Excellent. Playing a different character now. I believe Stoops was playing the, the director in the first verse, and now playing one of the, uh, the laboratory people. The laboratory people sounds... It sounds like an indie band. Uh, the laboratory people, uh, the lab assistants, the lab workers, the scientists, that's what I'm trying to say, but words aren't here right now. And leave a message, they'll be back. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Oh, it's been a day. Slide into There's 
information observation will present In the systems we can witness and the signals they have sent These forces yet unknowable ripple through cement Inscrutable intrusions, altered world events Inscrutable intrusions Altered world events. There is a DLC called AWE, A W E, which stands for Altered World Events. Um, so yeah, the, a lot of the things that that you're learning about in the game, you're learning about these AWEs, and uh, and and why they're locked inside the oldest house, and and how they became to be part of it, and how the oldest house learned about them, and what all it's connecting everything to everything else. It's very fascinating. It's very fun. Uh, really digging this. Uh, also read the description of this. This is like apparently one of the first times like uh, Stoops was doing kind of like the more intense production on the video side of things and definitely seeing that in this. Uh, some serious green screen things here, playing a lot of different characters, a lot of different costumes, different lighting things happening. Uh, the beginning to what we know to be their absolutely stellar video production. Digging it. Where reality cracks and impacts on the next uh, dimensions fragment, and the astral projects on. And the astral projects, like astral projections. That's uh, so good. Benign, undefined archetypal objects until ordinary is torn up and normal defects. All right, I gotta rewind back here. Because he's, they're they're talking about like specific things in the game and I want to point something out because the image came up. Where reality cracks and impacts on the next uh, dimensions fragment and the astral projects on benign undefined archetypal objects. Some benign undefined archetypal objects and it cuts to a shot uh, a, a crossfade from Aaron grabbing the gun to this person looking at a fridge. There's a refrigerator that is an object that has that that is an otherworldly thing, and it 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 you, you I think you have a boss battle against a fridge. Ah, that's a thing. It's a weird game, man. It's really good. Checks until ordinary is torn up and normal defects. In effect, what you're left with are OOPs, objects of power, a flying TV. OOPs. Oops. A light that can hijack your mind as you see. A safe that's encased in a shield of debris. These frequencies are frequently the key to what's perceived to be. He's... They're playing a specific character. I'm sorry about that. They're playing a specific character here, and I cannot remember the name of the character in the game, but that contraption that they're wearing, I remember seeing in the game. Again, this it's been like two years since I played it. Um, but, uh, I, I remember these, this imagery in it, and so I think throughout the song they're playing different characters specifically from the game, which is always a, an amazing tie-in. Safe that's encased in a shield of debris. These frequencies are frequently the key to what's perceived to be, and vis-a-vis are feeding off the reaches of the mind. That lyrical flow through there, the, the D to D to D to D and vis-a-vis, putting vis-a-vis in there? Absolute genius. So good. But recently the sequence is repeated and repeated, and it leaves people with a theory that they're trying to get inside. And it carries through into the next line. That's so good. You hear our words, but you forget. Push your fingers through the surface to the wet. We wait in the stains. We build you till nothing remains in the name of the sound of the name. They, they said in the, uh, the description they also had some wire work. Obviously this is the wire work where they're just hanging there. Good stuff. You hear our words, but you forget. Push your fingers through the surface to the wet. We wait in the stains. We build you till nothing remains in the name of the sound of the name. Repeat the word, repeat the word, repeat the word. And it cracks and the truth will emerge. A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. You are home. You remind us happy. Wow. Wow. Just, just a phone hanging there. That's so good. And the, the white empty void. Man, just so much already in this. It's only been two verses. 
halfway through. This is almost a six minute song. Oh, uh, man, and of course I've been talking for 15 minutes. Whatever. Blasphemy and effigy must never be ignored, so if you hear a ringing, you would better pull the cord and explore the decor of the ocean view, where the doors only open for a chosen few. Just like pulling on the cord and more things appeared. To go back three lines. Check your logic at the desk, you won't need it to progress. A dream is just a test to be broken through, like the smoke entombed in the rooms of the ashtray. Furniture fractals, the carpet cascades. Wow, that camera move. Lost in the labyrinth of lounge chairs and lampshades, wallpaper warps into infinite pathways. Whoa! That's so impressive. Not, not just the lyrics, but that whole camera move splitting off into the different versions. Stellar work. Man, that's so good. Lost in a labyrinth of lounge chairs and lampshades, wall that rewards into infinite pathways. There's no limit to the dangers of phenomenon we keep, for the chaos that would range if the panopticon be breached. This never-ending edifice is pushed upon the precipice since we let in the residents of the future of the sea. These lyrics are fantastic really kind of evoking a lot of the feeling that you get in the game and just the the wordplay throughout each line is just so damn clever i don't know why i'm talking about on this show <laughs> no no comedy here at all for this song but uh still digging it still enjoying it again if i know ahead of time it's not a comedy song i'm not going to react to it here i'm sorry uh the only reason i'm reacting to it to this one here is that I didn't know ahead of time that it wasn't comedy. Kinda had a suspicion, but no one told me different. So that's why it wound up the poll, that's why it wound up here. Oops. Yeah. On every simulation, every sample I can find, I give an explanation, but we haven't got the time. We're drowning in the waveforms, and our minds are in the tide of elegant malevolence, sequestered in the residence, nesting in the head of every denizen. Tell me, is it heaven sent? Just some serious, like... I, I, I can't imagine how dog-eared Stupendium Thesaurus is. Or, or their rhyming dictionary, or, you know, just, or do they already have these possibility words in their heads already? J just words that you wouldn't think to substitute for other words put in, denizens, which is just a great rhyme for, for any of that. Denizen meaning a person who lives somewhere. Just like, I wouldn't have thought to use some of those words myself. Just to have the rhyme carry through is so, so genius. Explanation, but we haven't got the time. We're drowning in the waveforms and our minds are in the tide of elegant malevolence sequestered in the re Elegant malevolence sequestered in the resonance. Just, like, that's an elegant line. It's so good. Nesting in the head of every denizen. Yeah, nesting in the head of every denizen. So you've got the nesting and denizen almost with the rhyme and tell me is it heaven sent carrying that through. Absolutely fantastic. Tell me, is it heaven sent? Is the devil even relevant when questioning the presence of dimensional intelligence? Fresh holds unfold as a door that knocks in the ticking, in the ticking, in the ticking of the clocks. We are holding the key, we just don't see the locks. Paradise and parasite in parallel, in paradox we There are so many good lines, I can't point them all out. I'll be stopping every single line. Just know that that was all gravy. That was all, all great. Stand on a mantle where matter divides to abstract fractures that tangle and run through cracks in reality. Trapped in a slime, such a tangible sanctuary, in a drop provides. Breaking the first, the second, the third, the fourth wall, the fifth wall, no floor, you fall. Earworm humming in a dream, baby, 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 yeah, it's just plastic. I'm almost concerned. You want to listen, you want 
to bleed, you want to smile, you want to hurt, you don't want to be, you want to listen, you want to dream, you want to smile, you want to hurt, you don't want to be. Federal Bureau of Control, that's the name of the organization. Took me the whole song. Also, love the way the hook is breaking down sonically. Like, you're getting skips and you're getting like little static and feedback and, and, and lines that are getting a little a little choppy in their in their uh, playback, I suppose, uh, kind of adding, adding to the unrest of the whole song. I don't know what I was doing with my hands there. Uh, it's just, it's a sonic delight for the ears. I don't know what the hell I'm saying anymore. I'm just enjoying it, is what I'm saying. Little repetitions. Little echo effects and everything. So good. Bravo. <laughs> we like tolerate thank you very you for much. Thank you watching this FBC musical presentation. I do hope it was informative. I would like to thank research assistant Cammy Cat for her help assembling this presentation. Please do remember to perform your like, comment, and subscription rituals before resuming your work. Like, comment, and subscription rituals. Bravo! <laughs> and if you'd like to contribute further to our work here in the research division, please do consider looking at the Stupendium Patreon or Merchandise Store. Thank you. Playing a character all the way through the outro. We know Stoops does that. That's always fantastic work. Man, okay. Great song. Fantastic video. Not comedy at all. So I'm not, that's not points against it, by the way. I don't hold that against it. It was never meant to be a comedy song, so it didn't not achieve anything that it was not trying to achieve. Yay, double negatives. Um, yeah, no, it's a great song. Not exactly what I was looking for to, to react to here, but that does not detract from the fact that it is a fantastic song with an amazing video production. As everybody has been telling me, you know, that's a song that they've been wanting me to check out for a while, and I have now. Um, and we have a few more Stupendium songs still left to check out, some that mostly seem comedy at least. Uh, those will be up on the poll soon on Patreon. Uh, if you liked what I did here, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and if you want to really support the channel and help me out and vote in those polls, support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash insaneian. Uh, Going to NPC this weekend. That's going to be a thing. Unfortunately, Stupendium at the last second had to uh, had to cancel due to illness, uh, the dreaded Backstreet Boys reunion tour. Um, but uh, should be at least a decent time there. Uh, I will be in attendance. If anybody else will be at NPC, so uh, you, you may you might see me running around. It is here in Chicago where I live, so I should probably go to that. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed that. We'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.